I'm not gonna read the whole thing. There are so many examples of how this is supposed to work. I just know you have stomach problems. <laughs> oh my God. It was a very nice offer, but my wife was not interested in me doing that. I'm Gabby. I'm Sabrina. I'm John. And this is The Rage DMs. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, we only see John in a in a political setting, and um, today we're we're seeing something else. We're seeing another side, another side of him and his DMs. Today we're getting goofy. It's been a bit since I really went through a ton of my DMs at once. A lot of it's very reasonable, very helpful. People trying to like raise issues they care about, and then there's the occasional thing that veers away from that. Do you ever respond to your DMs? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do sometimes. Not not constantly, but I'll occasionally go through. And sometimes when I don't, like if I find an old DM that was like really sweet or something, it like kills me that it's like been six yeah. months. So Aww. it seems weird now to answer it. I do sometimes. Do, do you guys generally? Sometimes. On occasion. To some nice ones. Yeah. But yeah, I think the healthy thing is to like not look at your DM requests that often, but... Now we're kind of looking at it every day. True. <laughs> I'm kind you of sort of <laughs> opted into that. I think it's still healthy because you're not just like looking at it alone and just getting all pissed off. Um, you're laughing at it with your friends. And I feel like that's a, a good way to process some of those deranged DMs. And you know, at some point you've gotten so many that you're used to it, but but it, but it's helpful to, to remember that like the negative stuff, it's not really necessarily about you. It's about that person and their whole thing. And the sexual stuff isn't necessarily about <laughs> you even if it could be highly personal it's about their whole kink Yo, but anyway so yeah it puts in perspective also i think gabby I, I think that i didn't even let you do the intro i'm sorry oh that's okay <laughs> i mean at this point we're on episode whatever we're looking at your crazy dms you guys know the drill <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who should we start with then? I think maybe we should start with John's this time. Yeah, let's start with the guest one. He, he brought some good ones. Okay. John, if you'd like to narrate. Love your politics, your writing, and your face. Hit me up if you're ever in Atlanta. Ha ha. <laughs> I like that that started off complimentary and I was like, oh, they like the political show. That Wait, this is getting physical, but it's so highly specific. Not a fan of your body, mm. but I like your face. If you're ever in the area, let's make this happen. Your writing and your face specifically. As I was searching for these, it did make me long for the earlier years of me <laughs> making content where there were more messages like this. Sometimes pictures and video too. I will also notice like there's, it's definitely different. You, you two, you know, you probably get tons of messages <laughs> from guys. Obviously I have the privilege as a guy that I don't get as many of those, but still the ones that I get, 95% are from guys. So that's huh. that's consistent. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> it's consistent across. This is nice. Well, did you ever go to Atlanta since then? No, I did not see this person. <laughs> it was a very nice offer, but my wife was not interested in me doing that. You, you could have gone with your wife. That's true. So you just wanted to appreciate my writing. And your face. <laughs> Gabby, let's do yours. Okay, so mine, I guess, I don't know. I'm kind of cheating with the, with the dating app ones. <laughs> Uh, so this is on Hinge and people can like you without you liking them back and you can see what they've like commented on your profile. So this person says, I just know you have stomach problems. Oh my God. <laughs> Gabby, do you have stomach problems? Yes, I do. <laughs> I, I can't even be mad. He's right. <laughs> How did he guess that? I don't what know. pictures do you have on your profile? I don't know. Do you do you feature your stomach at all? No, I don't showcase my stomach issues on my hinge. Do you have a photo where the background is just like a fridge that's entirely full of milk? Lactose pills, Tums. Well, I feel like it's a running meme now, or at least I see this like on TikTok all the time where it's like all the hot girls have IBS. And it's true. Uh -huh. Have you seen that? I've seen that. Yeah. I've seen that. <laughs> So in a way, he's complimenting you. That's right. And not insulting your stomach. <laughs> That's so correct. <laughs> I wasn't even mad. I just laughed for like five minutes. <laughs> I was like, this is wonderful. So did you match? No. <laughs> I was like, this was a kind offer, but I'm just going to screenshot it and giggle and move on. <laughs> Let's do another one of John's. Okay. This was my favorite one because it's so mysterious. And I'll explain why it's mysterious after. The message, though, was just taking the time to send you this and let you know that this juggalo kind of looks like you. Anyway, love the show and you guys. Peace. That would be a fine message, except there was no photo attached to the juggalo. <laughs> If you care so much about this juggalo that you have to let me see how similar we look, 
attach the picture, man. I want to know if I look like this juggalo. Now I'll never know. They didn't attach any picture. There was no picture attached. That was the only message they had ever sent me. They never responded again. There was no Juggalo. This is like a cliffhanger. <laughs> Juggalos are like those weird, like, gangster clowns, right? It's the gangster clowns, yes. With the, the clown face makeup, they listen to the insane clown posse. Yes. yes. Oh, sorry. Oh. I assumed everyone was down with ICP. I apologize. I didn't want to ask because I didn't want to seem stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, it's like a clown goth emo music thing. Great. But there was, there was no Juggalo. Are you a fan? I listened to like two of their songs when I was a kid. I was never a juggalo. <laughs> but no, I'm not. I don't wear face paint as a clown. How many TYT subs to get John to uh, wear juggalo <laughs> makeup? <laughs> we gotta raise the With face. purple hair. Full Joker. No. <laughs> Just hard no. Okay, let's do mine. Again, I feel like I went through a lot of our deranged ones already. It's I haven't been getting good ones. And some people lately in my messages, like, it feels like they've been throwing bait in my messages, like, trying to get on this show. And those ones will never be on. <laughs> so um, that's why I kind of went with this one. It just It's just stupid. It's this guy, January 28th, he said, you were good on the show. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Which show? Yeah, what show? I'm assuming he was talking about the Food Network show, um, Worst Cooks in America, where I was, like, cooking and stuff. But it's, like, no context whatsoever. Just, you were good on the show. Like, not even, like, I loved when this happened. This was really funny. Just, you were good. <laughs> Doesn't even name the show. Nothing, just the show. Do you think that that message was bait? Where, like, it's vague enough that you might respond which show, and then you're in a conversation? Ooh. <gasps> Wow, that's oh, big brain. I don't know because this person seems like they give off boomer energy and I don't think they would be that like... <laughs> That clever. Yeah, I don't think they would be that strategic with their message. Most of the boomer guys I see messaging women, at least in the comments, is always just like, love you, gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. And I watch that and think, that'll work for you. It's like they think that a comment is just like, yeah, it does go directly to the other person, but like everybody could see it. They think it's a private message. You know what? Again, love my mom, but in the past when like Facebook was still kind of a new thing and like more people were getting on it, um, instead of texting me or calling me she would write messages on my facebook wall when are you coming home oh pick you up God. at 5 30 call me back oh <laughs> that's such a classic mom thing to do i think social media should start to have like you know they'll like explain the features or something they should be very explicit this is private this is not please be careful grandpa should we do another john one yeah actually i think they're all john i think it's all you it's all now, you john. now oh geez okay um i'm gonna mix up to a mean one Okay. I, I don't get so m I get these in my comments, not in Twitter DMs, but my, e my email to my website. This is very representative. Okay. Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> I would kick your fucking teeth in. Or worse, if you attempted to trans my kids, <laughs> stupid dickhead. <laughs> You know those people going around transing people's kids? I know, I know. That was the first spell I learned in Hogwarts, is how to trans your kids. How would that work? I'm a talk show host. I don't do anything with your kids. You're like the tooth fairy. You come at night to trans people's kids. You know, I know that TYT has its influence. I don't necessarily think that you guys have, like, influenced a whole person to transition. I think that's something that they decide on their own. Probably. That's a lot of responsibility to put on you. I just also, <laughs> I love the idea, like it wasn't like a YouTube comment. Like that person clearly saw me talking about it was subject Matt Walsh. So I guess I was talking about Matt Walsh. Looked up my website, went to my website, looked for the contact John thing, clicked on it, typed out an email about transing their kids. This is a hobby for a lot of people. Just writing hateful shit on the internet. True. Get a better hobby. I'm not going to read this whole one because it's too long. But I, I, I wanted to give you a feel. Actually, I'll, I'll, these will be back to back. Okay. Okay. It's a person whose heart is in the right place. They're a fan or whatever. They watch the show. And because they're a fan, they feel like, well, I could offer some helpful criticism but sometimes it is so highly specific that it feels like an attack so this first one says love your reporting but credibility would improve with better grammar words ending in ing are gerunds not verbs and are used with a possessive i'm not going to read the whole thing there are so many examples of how this is supposed to work and i get it 
but it is way too late for me to learn anything like this in life, so I give up. I just talk on the internet, man. And there's another one. I love your work with TYT and all this other stuff, and then goes into how I don't pronounce the T at the end of the word important enough. And it is a very long paragraph that alternates between being wanting to be very careful about if it's a cultural or a physical thing, if you have a disability, I'm not oh criticizing you, but you should really try to pronounce the T at the end. And it goes back and forth and back and forth. And it's so specific. We're from California. We don't pronounce hard T's all the time. No, I mean, if anything, criticize the way I pronounce the word water. Everyone loves criticizing that. Wait, wait, say water. Water. That, that sounds normal. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you for pretending. There was a couple of others that were just very long grammatical lessons about things that were being misused. And I appreciate the passion, but I don't have time for that. Sorry. Because also, like, when you're live and your sentences just kind of, like, go in different directions sometimes, or at least that's for me, my grammar is terrible when I'm doing a live video. I can barely do words sometimes. <laughs> a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> They're very hard. Idea come across, though. <laughs> It do. It do. <laughs> it do. <laughs> Thank you. I, I have one more, and it was a person who wanted me to talk about the Chinese balloon. So I assume this is related to that. But the next message is, I have a spy fart. I just <laughs> fart. And it drifts over the air, smiling me. What are you doing? <laughs> smiley face. Sly smiley face. <laughs> I, <laughs> I what? I think... They think they're the balloon in this case, and that way when the Americans shot it down, I think it was supposed to be like, I I farted. Oh, is the what are you doing? Like, it's just happily floating, and then it sees the jet, and it's like, what are you doing? I feel like this would be in a fortune cookie. Like, a really badly <laughs> translated fortune cookie that I've gotten a many times. A very bad one from, like, Panda Express, not yes. even an actual, yeah. like, Chinese restaurant. Yes. It would be Panda. For context, I know this because I got a box of 350 fortune cookies, and I opened all of them. So I've read a lot of fortunes. <laughs> Were any of them repeats? Only a few. That's pretty good. A lot of them and only a few were repeats. So I'm, I'm very experienced in the fortune cookie field. This person might have a career. <laughs> oh yeah, fortune that. cookie writer. That's pretty much it. It's short, sweet, to the point with deranged DMs. I like it. I'm going to try to encourage more explicitly pervy messages to me in the future yes. just in case. Oh, John, don't case. do that. No, do it. Do no, it. it'll do be fine. It, it, how end. could it go wrong? How could it go wrong? <laughs> well, thanks for joining us, John. And for those of you who are watching make sure to comment and let us know who else we should invite on deranged dms and if we like them we will we yeah. if we like them we will reach out to them and if we don't we'll pretend we never saw it anyway thank you john thank you that was fun this video is sponsored by hungry root let me tell you a little bit about Hungry Root as I let Little Miss Eva inspect my delivery. Hungry Root is a tech-enabled grocery service delivered right to your door that's personalized to your lifestyle and tastes. So you start by taking a short, fun quiz before signing up, sharing how you like to eat, your dietary needs, your goals. Since I'm personally trying to bulk up for a boxing match, I'm adding protein, 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 and more protein to my order. Hungry Root sends personalized weekly deliveries filled with healthy groceries along with 10-minute recipes. You can edit your weekly deliveries and choose exactly what you'd like to receive or let Hungry Root choose for you. When your delivery arrives at your doorstep, you can mix and match the groceries with what's in your fridge or use the easy recipes they put together for you. The more you shop and cook with Hungry Root, the more the personalization engine learns about what you like. Spend less time planning, shopping and cooking, and more time enjoying the food you love. Oh my god, this is a lot of stuff. Okay, this is making me really hungry, so I'm just gonna quickly prepare one of the easiest things they sent me. Plant-based chicken tenders. Look at that! Look at that! Oh, nom, 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 nom. The first 100 people to use my promo code Abelina40 will get 40% off their first order of Hungry Root. That's Abelina40 at HungryRoot.com. Thank you, Hungry Root, for sponsoring this video.